Bolivia, an underrated travel destination for sure, full of breathtaking sceneries. We spent three weeks in Bolivia during our South America backpacking trip, and I'm now inviting you to join us exploring this beautiful country. Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. I am currently in the little city or town called La Cuyaca and basically the reason why I am here is because this is like a bordering city to Bolivia. So from here you can cross the border from Argentina to Bolivia by walking. There was no option to take a bus over the border and yeah, I am excited today to enter a new country, Bolivia. And Bolivia will actually be my 50th country that I've ever visited. So that's also very exciting. Currently we're still here at our accommodation and we're just about to go and have some breakfast as it is included in the night's stay and after that we're gonna start heading to the border and yeah at least currently our plan is to go to a town called Tupisa and stay there a night or two but we still also need to figure out how to get there. I know there's a train, but the train doesn't go every day. And of course, today is one of those days it doesn't go. So we're hoping there's some kind of bus connection. Let's, let's see how it all goes. So I am trying to film with my action camera because I haven't used it much and I think it will be perfect for today but yeah now our journey to the border starts it's only a 750 meter walk so not too bad and yeah I'm feeling a bit nervous but I am sure it'll all work out one way or another We have crossed the border to Bolivia. I must say with our passports, it was so easy. There was like a couple from the US in front of us and they had to have so much paperwork. What we saw and like visas and proof of stay, proof of leaving, everything. And for us, it was just like boom, boom, stamps on the passport, just go and done. It's a Sunday, so all banks are closed. So we were a bit like, oh no, how are we gonna get out money? But we were able to exchange money right here by the border. Luckily, we still had some euros in cash. Otherwise, I'm not sure what we would have done. So yeah, but now we need to head to the bus station and hopefully we can find a bus to, to Pisa where we're heading. Jumped on a taxi. Not sure how much this is gonna cost us actually. We asked, but we didn't understand what he said. <laughs> So fingers crossed, this won't bankrupt us. <laughs> okay, our time in Bolivia has started quite adventurous. We barely got out of the taxi when a woman was already selling us a ticket to, to Pisa, where we are going. And within two minutes we were already in a car and apparently now in an hour we will arrive there. But we were actually supposed to go in the bus station and buy a ticket for like a proper bus. Like that was the plan. Like I knew there were these like, you know, proper buses to take. But uh, yeah, we didn't have uh, time to even step into the bus terminal and we're already on this taxi bus thing. Um, but it seems okay. Paid 30 Bolivianos for the both of us. I have no idea if we got ripped off or not. I think if my calculations are correct, we paid about two euros each. But yeah. Should we close the door? <laughs> and so we have arrived to, to Pisa looks like this um, seems like a bit more of a local town but yeah let's go and try and find our hotel it shouldn't be a very long walk luckily
we have arrived to our accommodation and we decided to splurge a little bit this time. We are paying a whopping 12 euros per person a night, something like that. And we have a big swimming pool and like a big yard. We do have like a shared bathroom, but a private room and it's right in the center. Looks super nice, I can't wait to take a dip here. So beautiful with the flowers and everything. It's a very nice looking little hotel. actually didn't realize until like we were on the bus that we think there is a time difference to Bolivia from Argentina so it's one hour less here so we technically gained an hour so yeah <laughs> we hadn't actually checked that at all we just started looking at the time and being like wait it can't have taken us this little time to do all of this but yeah it is one hour less here so now from the Netherlands instead of a four hour difference it's five hour difference and from Finland, instead of a five hour difference, it's a six hour difference. Yeah, I think we are quite hungry. Our breakfast today wasn't very big. I only had one piece of bread with some jam. So I'm definitely quite hungry. So I think we're gonna go and hunt for some lunch soon. We're trying to find some place to eat, but it's a bit tricky because it's a Sunday, so most places are closed. And well, I'm vegetarian, so it's a bit tricky. We now found some very, very local spot. They don't have menus or anything. And at least Rul was able to find something to eat. I wasn't. Hopefully we can find some other place too where I could maybe eat something. And um, yeah, but it looks very fun, I must say. I was able to find some cheese empanadas from this little shop here. I'm so happy. <laughs> Finally some food. I was starting to get a bit <gasps> worried that I wouldn't find any food because a lot of places on like Google Maps said they're open but none of them were open. We were able to find a restaurant where Rul could eat. But finally at a market I was able to find some cheese empanadas. They look like this and I'm just happy to have something to be honest. <laughs> That's the littlest cheese I've ever seen in an empanada before. <laughs> it's basically just dough or bread. <laughs> Not to be negative, but I think that was the worst empanada <laughs> I've ever had. But oh well. like 5 p.m. but honestly for the past few days we've barely eaten like today I had those not so good empanadas um, so we've been trying to look for a place that's open but even all the supermarkets or like little markets everything's closed on a Sunday Buenas, Buenas gracias. gracias we think we found a restaurant that's actually open <laughs> 
open on a Sunday and open already at 5 p.m. So great. I'm honestly starving. Today we have something super exciting planned. We are going horse riding and you probably didn't know this but I used to do horse riding a lot some years ago. It's been a bit of a break though but yeah I used to do horse riding growing up for many 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 years and yeah I'm excited to get back on the saddle although for my boyfriend Rul he is also joining and he has never been horse riding before but our like tour provider said that it is perfectly fine for beginners and even children have done this tour and stuff and that the horses should be calm and we're not gonna go like galloping and crazy we're just gonna be walking around some beautiful nature areas and stuff yes yes Hola. Chocolate. The horse riding tour took three hours and we both really loved it. The horses were nice and calm and seemed healthy and well taken care of. The surroundings were so beautiful and so peaceful, there was barely any other people there. And it was also a very pleasant first time experience for a rule. I definitely recommend doing the horse riding tour if you're ever in to Pisa. We have now been horse riding for a while and the views of where we are and like the environment is amazing. I feel like it's almost like we're in some kind of video game or something, but I'm enjoying it very much. We're taking it quite easy, which is nice, especially for Rol as it's his first time. I don't think it would be a good idea to gallop away. <laughs> you could choose if you wanted a hat or a helmet. And as a Finnish person who also always wants to be safe, I chose a helmet. But a hat would definitely have looked cooler <laughs> and maybe been less sweaty, but oh well. Rul chose a hat though, he looks much more like a cowboy than what I do. Time to get back on the saddle. another little break it's uh, really nice luckily there's a bit of a breeze otherwise it would be very very hot <laughs> i would kind of need to use the bathroom um let's see what the bathroom looks like <gasps> probably not very hmm looks uh there's a piece of there, <laughs> <Is> there? <laughs> yeah the toilet visit was not a pleasant experience but i survived without touching the poop 
So that's good. <laughs> oh man. Our horse riding tour is now done. And I do think three hours was enough. You could have also done five hours. Now I think we're waiting for some kind of transportation to get to back. We're now back at the hotel and I can't think of anything better to do next than to go and have a dip. It will feel so so good, so better change into my bikini and head to the pool. Tonight is our last night here in Tupiza and tomorrow morning we're gonna try to get to Uyuni. It's a bit confusing on how to do that but we're gonna go to the bus stop and hope for the best. And yeah, then in Uyuni, as you can maybe guess, if you know anything about Bolivia, we're gonna do a salt flat tour, which I'm super excited about. Not sure which tour we're doing yet but um, we'll, we'll see. So far what I've seen from Bolivia, it seems like a really great country, it seems really like adventure adventurous and it's definitely much less like western like than what Argentina was and I'm really liking Bolivia so far and I can't wait to explore more of this country I'm really excited about that I also really like Tupiza I think it's a small little town but I don't know it has a nice calm vibe to it and the horse riding tour today was super fun and the views were just amazing and it's been a nice couple of bit more relaxed days by the pool and stuff so i don't mind at all i'm gonna end this video here and start the next vlog soon from uyuni so i hope you have enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and remember to also subscribe to my channel to join the journey thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys again on my next adventure bye bye